Hey everybody, welcome back to Prey. So, we left off the last episode waking up on Monday, March 15th, 2032. And that doesn't sound like really that big of a deal, except for the fact that it was the second time we woke up on the morning of March 15th, 2032. And at the end of the last episode, I was kind of trying to think of how that could possibly happen. And, uh, oh gosh, I thought that was somebody standing there. Um, and I was like, can they manipulate time? Or, um, yeah, I don't know what my other thoughts were, but I did have a thought last night that I, I don't think that, that they, and when I say they, I mean Alex, you, and the people at Transstar, I don't think that they can manipulate time, uh, because how would they just manipulate time? my time, my character's time, Morgan Yu's time. So I'm thinking that maybe we're in a simulation. Like, that way they could, like, just reset everything and have, everyth have everything start over, Where, but they would know about it, you know? I mean, because we heard, it, heard Marco Simmons, I think that was his name, talking to Alex Yu after that strange alien attack, whatever that was, and he was like, clean it up. Alex said, clean it up, and Marco was like, got it. So it's like they could just press a button and kind of reset everything. So now I'm thinking that we're we're in a simulation. That's what I'm thinking. But regardless, we have woken up again in our apartment on the same day. And, you know, the same stuff is here. You know, we could take the same stuff out of our uh, closets and um, out of our nightstands, and, you know, the same uh, postcards are there, and, you know, same stuff. we got plastic tubing, you know, and uh, the same books are here, so it's not like anything has changed here, but I am interested to see if anything is different on our email. Now we have six emails. Now, I'm going to say yesterday, even though it was the same day, we only had three emails, so that's kind of interesting. Whoa. Okay, that actually kind of gave me chills. <laughs> awesome. Danger. Leave now. Whoa. It just says from January to Morgan Yu. And that, that's it. Just end of message. They all are from January to Morgan Yu. We don't know who January is. But they left us six messages that said, Danger, leave now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. What does leave now mean? Like, can we exit our apartment and not get on the helicopter? Uh, speaking of the helicopter, you know, we didn't get a phone call this morning from... Uh, Alex welcoming us to the job, welcoming us to the team, and uh, you'll notice that the little bottle of wine here and this note are in a different location. Now, I don't know if that matters or not, but I'm just pointing it out because it's something I've noticed. Because uh, last time they were sitting up here next to this little magazine. And, um, okay, that's the same. I was just wondering if maybe... You know, those said something different, too. Um, I don't remember if that mug was there. I do remember there being a mug. Yes, here's the mug I remember. So, that's still there. We can, you know, pick stuff up, because who knows what's going to happen to us. So, let's go ahead and loot our cabinets again, in case we do have to leave. And, uh... We need those items for our health. So here's the note. Congrats, Morgan, Alex. And then we've got the uh, bottle of wine there that um, I wonder if it's important. <laughs> uh, should I take it? Should I leave it? I'm going to leave it there. So the door is still jammed. We can't go out on our freaking awesome balcony out there. That is cool. And right there is the Transtar building. I mean, it's not very far away at all. So, um, 
let's say that we... Oh, that's cool. We have a shadow. We... Um, let's say that our character here, right? Alex, or I'm sorry, uh, Morgan Wu, has woken up this morning and has no recollection whatsoever of what happened on the previous Monday, March 15th, 2032. So Morgan Wu has just woke up and has no direction. Like, you know, Morgan Wu has no objective. Morgan Wu doesn't know what he's supposed to be doing right now. So do we even know to put on our suit? Well, the game's not going to let me go out the door until I put on the suit, it would seem. So I guess we'll put on our suit and we'll go ahead and go outside. Don't need that. Huh. Danger, leave now. Who left that message? Let's go ahead and put on our suit since I think it's the only thing that's going to allow us to continue. Okay, see, now we can open the door. And now the scary sound effects have come back. Now that's something I'm a little disappointed in because um, when we finished play uh, in, in the last episode and we woke up again on the same day, there was some pretty scary music playing, but then I saved the game and restarted it, and that scary music stopped playing. <laughs> but now it started up again. And, and, oh! Okay. Uh-huh. Well. Well, our fish is still alive. Glad to see that. Unfortunately, this person was not so lucky. Press W to toggle your flashlight. Yes, I remap my keys. Well, what happened? Why did the uh, scary sound effects go away? What happened to her face? What the heck? Oh my gosh, what happened to her face? Huh, I'm disappointed that the scary sound effect stopped. Search. So she has some spare parts that I'm going to take. Universal components, cleaners, and adhesives used to make repairs. And then she also has a wrench. Uh, Hephaestus Heffy Twist and Loop Handle Industrial Wrench. A flexible and indispensable tool for various engineering jobs. Also an effective improvised bludgeon. Ooh, damage 10 to 20. Very RPG. Huh. Uh-huh. So we got ourselves a wrench. Incoming call. Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. Yesterday. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Okay. Break out. New objective. Swing wrench. Yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna have to hit people with a wrench, man. Uh, this is different. Um, last time we had ex exited our apartment, we walked past Patricia Varma, and there was a hallway that kept going here that led down to the elevators. So where the heck did the elevators go? Hiya! 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 Oh, that was my dude. I'm getting tired. <laughs> I thought that was the strength of the door. <laughs> I thought that I was going to break into that door. Well, I have a wrench, and I know that we have a glass door that leads out to our balcony here. So what do you think? What do you think? We go back in here. <laughs> yes, I shut the door. We go back in here, we break this glass, then we get out on the balcony. Now, once we do, once we're out there, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we do once we're out there. Uh, the sound effects are weird in this game. They just kind of abruptly stop, which is kind of disappointing for a game that is so stylish otherwise. Uh, kind of takes you right out of the mood, doesn't it? So those of you who have also played this game, did the same thing happen to you? Nice. What? Okay. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so we are kind of in a simulation, I guess. Neat.
eat. Ooh, now it's like shades of portal. Cool. Whoa. Whoa, there's a camera there. Simulation debriefing and observation. Well, we broke out. I could go back in if I want. If I could just change my mind, I'd be like, all right, you know what? What? Huh? I was going to say, that's a little too heavy for me. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Okay, break out, get to the main lobby. If we look at our objectives, we'll see that a stranger named January contacted me to say that I'm in danger and that I need to escape my apartment. My apartment isn't what I thought it was. Get to the main lobby. Huh. It's weird, I do show and hide completed and it doesn't really show anything. Alright, whatever. <laughs> So, is there anybody in here? Were there any of those alien things here? Here's something here I could pick up. A note. February 22nd, 2035. So, whoa, whoa. Okay. I was going to say, so this was like a month ago, but no. This is 2035. Um, we thought it was 2032. Yeah, they've been watching us. So, from midnight to 7.30, we were sleeping. We woke up, turned off the alarm. Checks transcribe. Then we were on the computer for about 20 minutes, took a shower, puts on uniform, exits apartments. I wonder how long we've been doing that over and over and over again. Here's a computer with uh, two emails and a utility. This is cool looking. Whoa, look, it goes way up. There's some stairs that go up there. Simulation lab. Neat. Let's look at Evelyn McCarthy's computer, shall we? Uh, regarding daily tests, so originally... Whoa, what, huh? Okay, I, I clicked my mouse button to scroll down. <laughs> um, oh, damn it, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, there we go, here we go, I'll figure it out, don't worry. So originally, Evelyn McCarthy wrote to Sylvan Bellamy about daily tests, and... Dr. Bellamy was the guy that we saw, you know, administering the tests. Evelyn McCarthy, I, I'm assuming, must have been the woman that was with him. Dr. Bellamy, at this point, Morgan's exhaustion... Hey, get out, get out of the way. Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant Neuromod installation and removal. Tell me again why we've extended the testing indefinitely. And then he writes back. And, Damn it! I want to click my mouse button. Okay, I'll get the hang of it. And then uh, Bellamy writes back and says, If you've been on branches of our main product line, you know that sometimes we need to put an extra effort. Uh, we need to put in extra effort to hit our milestones and any external risks are fully taken into account when these decisions are made. The move to extend indefinitely was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. So we're in on it. A note about this morning from Alex Yu to the Neuromod division. All, I know this morning's incident, this morning, <laughs> I know this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Ms. Alazar and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bell Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma center and is in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this project. So that guy's still alive? What happened to the woman? Because remember that creature attacked Bellamy and then the woman started screaming she screamed for um, uh, security and then a guy came with a gun and shot Bellamy and her so how how is uh, Bellamy still alive I'm a little suspicious of that utilities audio events refer to test run program for timing of audio events note pigeon visuals have been disabled due to a glitch in the rendered data Wake up call. 
Hey, Morgan. <laughs> wake up. You're burning daylight. You sent a helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Whoa. Oh, listen, I, uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Cool. Helicopter arrival. Pigeon test. Let's do pigeon test. Oh man. I want to see the pigeons. Oh. Oh, this is it. Okay. I wanted to uh, set off the pigeon test and then run in here and see if we could see the pigeons. But I guess not. That's awesome. All right, and then uh, helicopter arrival. Here it comes. Well, I guess we don't get to see it. Now we got some music playing again here. <laughs> I'm so intrigued, man. <laughs> Simulation debriefing and observation to the right. So, of course, I'm going to go to the left. Here's um, some plastic tubing. Oh, that's some pretty cool music. Frayed wire. Uh, I guess I'll take it. Whoa. Okay, so we can go that way. We can go this way. So there's, you can see there's room D, where uh, we were in that simulation, and I don't think I have a way to zoom in. Oh, I do. There's something sitting on that table there. So there's room D, and that, see the chair's knocked down. This is where the event took place, in there. So this just happened this morning. According to that email that we saw, there's a computer in- Oh, there's some weirdness going on. There's some weirdness going on in there. What is that? And then that is, uh, Jialong Heng's computer with two emails on it. Well, I want to read those emails, but I don't want to encounter whatever the hell that is. Oh, that's a pretty cool looking piece of equipment. Don't know what it is, but it's cool looking. Whoa. Okay, so here is, um... This is the simulation here. Looking Glass Simulation Lab Scene Editor. <laughs> so, remember in the last episode I was like, Where are we? What city is this? It's no city. It's made up. Pretty cool. Soundstage Rules. Absolute silence when simulation is in progress. Do not enter stage unless in costume. Costume? Do not interact with subject off, off script. Soundstage reminders. Always reset the position of stage props in apartment after each test. <laughs> uh, remember I pointed out that the note and the uh, wine bottle were in a different location. Replacements for damaged props can be found in the storage area. Be careful not to bump glass when in observation zones. Soundstage B reminders. So there's two sound stages. The helicopter ride looking glass sequence should only be reset in the overlooking control room. Make sure to clear the rooftop of any stray objects during the simulated flight. Always return the helicopter to its ready position after being serviced. So yeah, there's... um. Room B, and then again, that bizarreness taking place right there. <laughs> Creepiness. I do not want to get that thing's attention. Whoa, okay. Okay. Turn some. Oh, it sounds like a copy machine. What it sounds like to me. Oh, man. The safe code is. It's erased. Non-local, super liminal. I 
I guess this is that this piece of equipment that's making noise here. Here's a cool looking chair. Now this looks like something from Soma. Ah oh, man, we don't know the safe code. The safe code is... Can't make it out. What used to be written there. Note. Delivery for debrief. Manufacturing order number 65489. Deliver to Marco Simmons from Fabrication Department. Uh, marking this entire skew is defective. And investigate with fabrication, fabrication Marco. Huh. Defective. Oh, look. A note. Password. ICOP0876. <laughs> Marco Simmons' password acquired. Well, by all means, let's look at Marco Simmons' computer now that we know Marco Simmons' password. I'm just worried I'm going to trigger something and then all hell's going to break loose and I'm not going to get to explore all of this place, you know? Uh, but then again, there's... Oh! Okay, game. <laughs> I was just getting ready to say. Then there's also the possibility that I will walk too far in one direction and trigger a point of no return. I do not like the, that the game is telling me about the wrench. Why would the game be telling me about the wrench? Well, the game's telling me about the wrench because I'm going to have to freaking use it. And not to repair pipes. Uh, so here's the wrench. The Hephaestus Heffy Twist and Loop Handle Wrench is standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed at Transtar facilities. Good for liberal application of percussive maintenance <laughs> and mechanical agitation. And then you can use mouse one to swing your wrench. Important, press and hold mouse one to charge your attack for maximum damage. All wrench attacks will drain your stamina. Okay, okay, okay. We're not going to go that way. I'm, I'm, you've scared me adequately, game. I'm going to go back in here and read this guy's email. Three emails. One unread. So, <laughs> reminder about company password policy. This is just a friendly reminder from the relevant portion of the policy handbook. Password protection. Do, you not, do not share your password with anyone. Passwords are sensitive, confidential information. Passwords must not be inserted into email messages, transcribe conversations, or other forms of communication. Do not write down passwords and store them anywhere in your office, Marco. If you suspect your password has been compromised, report it to IT immediately. Users will be held responsible for any activity that occurs on a workstation that has been compromised and not reported. And then here's the note about this morning that we read earlier. And then bad install from Alex U to Marco Simmons. Simmons, the test results today were all negative. Did you install the correct neuromods? Touch base with Graves and figure out what went wrong. This should be your absolute highest priority. Huh. Yeah, remember when we were doing the tests and, and um, Bellamy was like, nothing? How come I'm not getting any results? You know? So, oh, there's a, a note? Where's a note? Okay. Hmm. It's weird. I don't, I don't see the note anymore, so I don't know why I was able to take it again. What the? Okay, so... Okay, there's just an eternal invisible note there. Hmm, how long has this game been out? It's a little glitchy. Okay, so we have no idea. Ooh, debriefing safe. This must mean hack. What do you think? Hacking three required. Huh. Um, here is my inventory. Oh, suit chipsets. No chipsets available. Scope chipsets. No chipsets available. So this must be where we get our hacking skills and such, I would imagine. Psychotronics, maybe? I don't know. Data. Oh, we know a password. And then... Huh. These are... Oh, man. That, that, uh... If I had looked at all of the books in my apartment, they would all show up here. So this is everything we look at. Emails, audio logs, research. This is looking to be a cool game. So when we walked that way, it told us about the wrench. Which is making me nervous. There's an elevator there. And then 
That'll take you to the simulation sound stage. Emergency phone. Okay, I don't know if I want to go that way yet. Used plastic tubing. I'm picking stuff up. I, why is that upside down? Um, I'm picking stuff up because I don't know what's going to be important. Whoa. Warning. Do not open door while simulation is in progress. How much you want to bet that that goes back into our apartment? And indeed it does. So it's next to the closet here. So we're back in our apartment. And I see something on top of this. Can I climb up here? I can! Cool! It's just used plastic tubing. Nothing to get too terribly excited about, but that's kind of cool. <laughs> this is our closet right here. It's, uh, it's like a TV here. Which is, I guess these are some super soundproofed walls so that we wouldn't hear what was going on out there. Right? Home sweet home. I'm not going to go out there. Instead, I'm going to go this way. Because I want to see what's over here. Here are the soundstage rules again. And this looks into our uh, kitchen. <laughs> okay. Simulation labs. Up, up. Scary sound effects. Replacement prop storage area. All right, why you gotta be making scary sound effects game? Boy, they put those soundstage rules up everywhere. Get out our flashlight. Frayed wire. Toilet paper. I wonder if our flashlight has a battery on it. It's gonna... Gonna die on us. If I'm not careful. Here's some more sparkling wine. <laughs> Pizza boxes. Uh, I hear a sound, like a scratching sound. Oh, 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 what, 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 huh, huh, what, oh, stupid door opening that way. Okay, there was something in there. So, we know that those things can take different shapes because if you watched that last episode closely, you saw that right at the end, at the end of the test that we were taking, remember we had to ask those questions, we had to answer those questions, and um, then like a, a Rorschach drawing came up. And I didn't, I mean, I, if, if you watched the last episode, you know what I'm talking about. When that Rorschach, Rorschach drawing came up, um, right as our character was looking down at it, something happened at the top of the screen. And what happened was it was like this blue, blue, this black, like, uh, I don't know what to, how to describe it. This black entity kind of jumped up on the table and turned into a coffee cup. And that's when Bellamy picked up his coffee cup and was like, with my coffee? It's empty. And then the thing attacked him. So we saw, if you were paying attention, that these creature things can take the shape of anything. So we saw it, whatever that thing was, but it could be anything now. You know, it could be any of this stuff. And I want to walk this way and see what there is to see, but I'm afraid that that stool right there, or this picture right here, is the creature. Or hell, it's behind me, you know? But we need some practice. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Why did that scare me so much? <laughs> uh, I, I, 
<laughs> I need some practice swinging this wrench anyway. Whoa, what was that? Did you see? Did you see? There was like a little indicator that showed up just for a second at the corner of my screen. Hey. Quit messing up my apartment. So that thing must have run in here. <laughs> and uh, knocked stuff over. Oh, are you a box now? Because you're not fooling me. Oh, you're not a box now. <laughs> he's running all over the place, man. Well, I mean, I like that he's just not instantly attacking me. Okay? Maybe we could come to some kind of understanding or agreement. Um, you don't attack me, and I won't attack you. Um, I would also like to uh, add another clause to our agreement, which is, you don't scare the shit out of me. <laughs> but I don't think that's... Uh, it's gonna happen. Okay, so yeah, there was there's a little maybe our suit has like some kind of danger indicator when there's danger nearby. So I hope you saw that pop up when that guy came ran, running past. So now we get this doofus to deal with. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, 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 stop it. Hey, go away. No, 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 no. Well, I mean, so that's how you want to play it, huh? You want to attack me. That's how you want to play it. Fine, I'll hit you. I'll beat on you. Whoa. There. Jerk. Question mark, question mark, question mark, corpse. <laughs> Let's search this thing. Here is a Typhon organ. Typhon organs contain exotic material which is used to fabricate neuromods. Whoa. And then down here in the corner we'll see material, material yield, whatever the heck that is. And then there's split. Okay, this game is going to be complicated, and I like it. And then here is a mimic tumor that, for some reason, I can't take. A random clump of matter formed as a byproduct of mimic transformation. So these things are called mimics. But uh, I can't take it. So I guess maybe I need some kind of ne necropsy. Necropsy? Necropsy? skill in order to take that, I'm going to guess. Okay, we got him. I don't think he did any damage to us. Doesn't look like it. Looks like we've got 100% health and 100% um, shields there in the lower left-hand corner. Rough access. You sure about that? So, where are we? Okay, good, good. I was hoping that was a big circle. Okay, we've come out here now. Okay, so, I feel like we've explored this place. Um, and really the only thing that I couldn't access was um, this safe here. Right? So I, I have to wonder if we're going to come back here at some point. Uh, because I can't get into that safe because I don't have hacking three skills. And pretty sure I can't just like suddenly get hacking three skills. So I have to think we're going to come back here at some point. I keep thinking that I should be able to figure out what the safe code is by looking at that, but um, I can't. I can't tell. Yeah. And, and I'm pretty sure that we're probably going to be able to walk around in there at some point. Otherwise, why would they have that big computer sitting there looking at me tantalizingly? Look, there's emails for you to read. Well, 
say goodbye to our apartments. For now, at least. Got ourselves an elevator here. That's where we came from. Here's an exit. Oh, there's the helicopter. <laughs> it's like a motion simulator thing, like a ride at, a, at an amusement park. Oh. Oh, this is, um... Yeah, this is just part of the uh, simulation here. Not really sure how this fits in, though. Right? Hmm. Oh, these walls must must move. Yeah. That's right. Okay. So this this wall must spin like this one does. Because on the other side of this is the hallway where that dead body is, remember? Remember when I walked past the dead body? I was like, hey, we used to be able to walk through here. Well, this wall must spin or move or something. And then we came out here and then like went this way to get on um, the elevator. So this somehow... I hope you hear that. What? Whoa, all hell broke loose in this place, man. The, the helicopter's broken. So I guess that these screens here can make it look like we're, you know, outside. That is creepy as creepy, man. What's this? <laughs> Back away. Uh, I want to see what happens when I go in that elevator and press a button. Probably nothing. It probably, I mean, it doesn't really move, you know, because we're already both on the roof and on the floor of our apartments at the same time. Right? Ah, lots of places to explore, lots of things to see. So yeah, this this elevator isn't even an elevator, it's just a box. That's all it is, it's just a box. It doesn't go anywhere. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, whoa, oh. Okay. Okay, that was kind of cool that that just happened. See, I told you, there's the hallway that leads from our apartment to here. And I remember when I was like, why is that upside down? We saw, we saw that this was upside down. So... This thing must flip, and you know it could sh it could be like floor forty five or floor whatever the top floor was. Yeah, yeah, look. <laughs> Very, very neat stuff. I could break all this crap, man. So is there any reason to walk around back here? Anything cool to explore? Here's a computer cart that we can't pick up because we're not strong enough. I don't know why we'd want to pick it up. Maybe to use it as a weapon. Computer carts. Here is an explosive canister. Huh. 
Tronos hybrid power generator. Okay. Ready for this? Oh, wow. I did not throw that far. I'm glad it didn't blow up. <laughs> that would have been the end of us. So, why is there this weird sound effect when I do this? Listen, it comes out of the left speaker. Okay, well, that time was a little different. <laughs> Feels like weird sound effects. Uh, maybe it's like electronics breaking or something, because this is all like... Um, these are like... See-through TVs, really. It's kind of what they are. Great. What is that and why is it so loud? Oh! Okay, here we are. Oh. <laughs> okay. Boy, this is really pretty cool, man. So, yeah, this is um, when we land at Transtar, right? We walk in here. And apparently, no, that doesn't quite make. S oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. So remember when we it's kind of loud. when we walked, when we got off the helicopter and we walked in. Remember we were in this little room and there was like a little robot floating here, right? In like a little elevator lobby. So this comes up and remember we could walk behind it. But uh, this wall came across, making this room look different. And then we got on this elevator, and uh, we went to the testing facility. Which looks like this. <laughs> Very creative. Wow. Ooh, search. Some spare parts. We'll take those. So now we're back here. It is, it's as if we had just taken the elevator down to the um, 71st floor. And we got off here. And remember, there was a security dude in here. And uh, Alex was right here. And remember, I saw that. And I was like, oh, man, I really want to I really want to get to that, you know. And now we did. Uh, let's see, the quick select menu allows you to quickly alternate between weapons and powers. Assign weapons and powers from your inventory or favorites wheel by selecting something something. Blue screen of death here. And then, um, here's Dimitri Bowser's computer. So we got an email, uh, the, the note about this morning that we've already seen. And then we've got two utilities. Scene selection. Note, authorized scene transition times include when subject MU is inside the elevator, during maintenance operations between test runs, report any technical issues immediately to Dr. Sylvain Bellamy. So we could change this to rooftop entrance. Pretty cool. And then we could switch back to testing facility. This is neat. <laughs> and then we have test management. Reset the test rooms to current configuration. I'm not going to reset those just yet. We'll go look at them first. But we'll do that in the next episode because it's time for me to end this episode. We come back. We're going to go explore this place. Unfortunately, we're going to have to walk near that thing. We'll do that next time. I'm liking this game. <laughs> this is pretty cool. <laughs> Very creative. Really, really dying to know what is what in the world is going on in here. But we'll find out in future episodes. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. Hope you join me next time.